Hey everybody, this is Ryan, and welcome to another episode of Legendary Looters. I am here with my good friend, as always, Beringer. Well, hello there. And um, so we're running a uh, T5 Rift. You know, we always run different things in, in Diablo discussions, as we have a name for this now. And um, that's about it. We, as soon as we walked through this door, we were immediately attacked. Uh, so we had we had to kill stuff before we could uh, really start, but and I did not immediately die. No, I was I was much alive when we mm. came down that. <laughs> oh, I just died again. Yeah, I once again you need that uh, that little lifesaver. Oh, I just died now. But the lifesaver kept me alive for a few more seconds. Yeah, a lot of good that did you. Yeah, it did. You know what? It did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud to be alive for a few more seconds. So, All right. what are we talking about today? Uh, I think we should talk a little more about maybe what's going on with uh, BlizzCon last week. Yeah, I mean, it's a big deal. BlizzCon, uh, big news and excitement of things happening in the Blizzard universe. So what, what, what are we talking about? The, I think the biggest stir that was, I, I think, unexpected. I mean, everyone was, was expecting Warcraft talk, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, maybe some death talk of the Behringer, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and, and you know maybe some uh, some Heroes of the Storm and that kind of stuff. And I haven't heard anyone talk about Heroes of the Storm, um, but we can we can. It maybe did look definitely kind of get lost in the shuffle, which is surprising to me because everyone was so you know Overwatch kind of stole the spotlight. I it think. did. It definitely did. And I was surprised. I did not expect one. I never thought Blizzard would make a first-person shooter like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that uh, it surprised me. But I, I'm really pumped for it. What, what were your impressions? Um, okay, so I thought it looked kind of like you know some places are doing now with the they're trying to copy TF2. And there, there's another game coming out called Battleborn from 2K that I think I think it's a lot closer to it. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot of variety, but it's the same. It just kind of has that same feel to it, and I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna gonna end up. I mean, T TF2 is obviously very successful, and of course, there's gonna be gonna be people trying to copy that. Yeah, and you know, TF2's been around as we all know for a very long time. Uh -huh. I mean, it's you know, it's not like it's a new game or anything nope. like that. I mean, I mean, I don't even remember when it came out. I think like the same time, even before like uh, the first Portal game, wasn't it? I think it was. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. Um, and you know, I have heard a lot of criticism of that, but you know, to me, at some point, you know, oh look, it's a cartoony-looking first-person shooter. Must be a ripoff of TF2, which yeah, I true. don't think this is. Um, from what I can tell, you know, it's six on six, but everyone has to be a different character, so it almost turns into like a, a MOBA, not necessarily, but I'm, you know, as far as like everyone plays, you know, a different character, and mm -hmm. um, there's a tank, there's a support. There's offense, there's a, you know, just, you're kind of, I don't know if there's a healer or not, I didn't think there was, but the cool thing is it, from what I've read, is everyone's going to have a ton of health, so it's not going to be like TF2, where it's just the slaughter fest, where everyone is just <laughs> dying, uh -huh. like, uh -huh. hey, look at me, I spawned, open the door dead, you know, and even like, even the heavies in TF2 can be taken out almost instantly by a sure. sniper, right? Sure. You know, and I think the idea here is the tanks can last forever. And so if anyone has watched the cinematic trailer, the gorilla is just in there forever, just getting his butt yeah, kicked, he but he, he, he doesn't die. And from what I've read, that's kind of their goal. Their goal is, is it's not going to be killing and then, you know, pushing, oh, oh, too bad, little, <laughs> oh. Wait, is, it, is, is this your, your charity case reviving you? Is that how that's going? <laughs> I don't want your charity. Oh, You're not oh. better than me. <laughs> and so I think the idea is that uh, it's going to be based on strategy and teamwork, not necessarily who dies and who stays alive, which is what TF2 and most of these games do, right? Mm -hmm. You kill the other team, you make some progression. Sure. Um, and this is more about teamwork, I think, because you're going to be so big and, you know, a lot more like arenas in Warcraft where... You know, they can be three to four to five minutes long sometimes if you guys are running around just to kill one person, um, if you know what you're doing. And mm -hmm. I, I hope I hope that's what it's going to be. I hope it's going to be all strategy. Um, and we know Blizzard is really good at creating games that are focused on strategy rather than just, you know, hack and slash sure. <laughs> Diablo. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever. So uh, that's my take. I mean, yeah, I, 
I think it looks good. Obviously, I'll be very interested in, in what they do with it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how they do. I mean, Blizzard makes quality games. That's what they're known for doing. And so if, if they want to try a new new thing, sure, I'm going to give them a chance. They've earned, they've earned a chance, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And, you know, that being said, they're also known for taking forever to make said quality game oh, yeah. because they don't put out bad games. Pro, you know products everything they make is is really polished yeah you know except for maybe their servers diablo ah, 3 launch server <laughs> burn <laughs> yeah. but uh you know so that being said overwatch is set to be released in 2004 you know 24 or something oh, yeah. you know it's like it's who knows when it's gonna oh, be out man. we're gonna be a long time before we see that game exactly but i i hope not you know I, oh hey look at this little treasure gob you just now noticed that cool yeah. You're Thank you for ball. killing it for me so I could loot it. You're really on the ball there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway. Ooh, so I got a story for you. Okay. Completely non-video game related. Complete, okay, all right, let's hear it. So I went and had sushi today. Uh-huh. And uh, sushi I, I love my- in Kansas City, Missouri. In Kansas City, Missouri. There is a good the sushi, sushi place, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I went to the I went, Drunken Fish was the name. I went to the Drunken Fish, uh -huh. and uh, oh oh oh, and I died. That's what you happened. Sure did. You don't um, want to stand on fish. that burning thing. Yeah, I guess not. I was too excited about my sushi. Um, so I'm eating my piece of sushi, and it's got a little you know seaweed wrap in it, and I'm chewing it, and I decided, oh, don't worry, I'll just res myself oh, yeah, cool. here Good for with you. with everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm chewing on it, and. Uh, so, you know, whatever, you have to put the whole piece in your mouth, you know, because you can't really cut them up, like, you know, whatever. And they were really big. So I'm mm. chewing on it, and I start to swallow, you know, half of it that I had chewed up. And apparently the seaweed had just basically made a really long rope. <laughs> <laughs> so I swallowed a half of it. That went down my throat, still connected to the other half that was still in my mouth. And I started gagging, not choking, <laughs> but just, like, like, I had this huge piece of sushi that was just, like, dangling in my throat. And I was, you know... And uh, just <laughs> everyone around me was panicked, and they had this look in my face. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't want to cough because if I was gonna cough, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to spew all over the place because it was like, it, I was like, ch uh, anyway. So eventually, I managed to to get it separated and swallow it, and not make too much of a scene. And uh, that's my wow. sushi story. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, good times. Great, great story. Very impressed. Well, I Let's didn't. I hardly got nothing again. Um, I got a two-handed crossbow, which is not good enough. I got a spiky headpiece, hmm. which is terrible. What I think is funny about that design is anybody that wears that, like, you're crazy enough that you're just going to put your head down and ram somebody. Yeah. Because that's how wizards play. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah that's... it's. Full on battle royale melee. That's that's how that's how us mm -hmm. wizards do it. Mm -hmm. You'd have to be a hardcore dude to be like, this is the helmet that I want <laughs> because I'm gonna ram my head into people's chests. And to be fair, I have one giant spike on my helmet. That's <laughs> <laughs> the, one, the one I'm not transmogged in. I'm wearing the what is it? The the Oryx crown. So it's got that giant spike in the front. Like a giant rhino. Same concept. <laughs> Very cool, man. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for another episode of Legendary Looters. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you guys. Good night.